along. Come along. You'll be in trouble with the teacher again if you don't hurry. Off you go. Put down that carrot, Snippy, and get off to school. All of you, this minute. Bye. Cheerio. Bye. 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 Oh, ouch. See you later, dear. Bye-bye, sweetie. Don't forget, the mallets are coming for dinner. I won't, dearest. Bye. Ooh. Oh. Good morning, Hetty. Geraldine, have you seen? Have you seen what she's got over there in that nest? Just hatched, just this minute. No, I was just on my way to... Oh, my word! How frightful! What on earth is it? Well, if you ask me, it looks like a seagull. It's ugly enough. And so huge. What an embarrassment. All right. You will be Alice, Araminta, Albert, Algernon. <laughs> and I shall call you Augustus. Have you seen the newest newborns in the neighborhood? Have you heard the latest gossip on the lake? Five new baby ducklings born this morning. And rumor has it one of them is something to behold. An ugly duckling, so the story's told. It must be such a burden on the family. They say his face a long and sour milk. It makes you wonder what this world is coming to. I suppose it's like they say, Just count your eggs before they hatch. Because all it takes is one to spoil the batch. We cut it back and close our eyes. We've an image to maintain. He's our only stumbling block. He's by far the foulest flounder foot among the flock. It's important that we let him know our feelings. It would be a great relief to all concerned. There's got to be some other place he'd fit in. I'm sure he'd be much happier with others his own kind. Everyone could find some peace of mind. And everyone could find some peace of mind. <laughs> You must be so proud of the four of them. <gasps> There's five, actually. Such pretty little things. Four little bundles of joy. Five. Four tiny five. As a matter of fact, we was wondering about that one. Oh, we thought perhaps he might be, well, uh, adopted or... Could you have possibly got your eggs mixed in some way? I mean, well, he is different from the others, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's big and strong and handsome, and I love him just like I love the others. Oh, yes, 
quite right. <laughs> of course you do. Naturally. Well, we must be off, mustn't we, Hetty? Yes, Geraldine. Yes, we must. We'll pop by again tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye, dear. Good morning. Well, I think you're beautiful. What? He's a turkey. That's what he is. He's a turkey, it's obvious. Of course he isn't a turkey. He's my son and he's a duck. You could find out if he's a turkey. How? By pushing him into the water. Turkeys can't swim, can they? Oh, that's a good idea. After all, it's best to know, isn't it? Well, all right then. It's time they all had their first swim. I'll take them in now. But after you've seen how well he'll be able to swim, I don't want to hear another word about turkeys. See? What you've done. You could have squashed her to death. Look how upset she is. I'm sorry. Really, I didn't mean to. You ought to play with people your own size. You ought. Now come on. Stop crying. You're not hurt. I am. I am. He all crunched me up and bit my leg. It really hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, I am. Well, come on, then. We'll take you home and put a bandage on it. you've done. Look what you've done to my babies. They've nearly drowned. I didn't mean to. I'm really sorry. Well, sorry's not good, is it? Get away from them, you great, ugly brute. I... Ugly, 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 ugly. Watch where you're going, can't you? I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Then you should pay more attention to where you're putting your feet. It's all very well tramping about hither and yon regardless, but people could be injured, crushed to death. With feet that size, you're better off staying in the water. Yes, perhaps you're right. Anyway, I'm sorry. Well, all right then. But big, clumsy people are a danger to others. Just bear that in mind. Yes, I will. Thank you. Good. Goodbye. See so much Rito. Jordan will have a new master. He shall have but a penny Can a Can I have a turn? If, if you want, want, we can both get on the same end. We're ready! Oof! Ah! Oof! You've broken it! You've broken our seesaw! Yes, I'm sorry, I... It was our birthday present! It was our best birthday present! And we're going to get into ever such trouble! They'll be ever so cross! I'm really, really sorry! You shouldn't be allowed to go around breaking people's things! It's not fair! 
We go to tell our mummy of you. Oh dear. Of course, your young Augustus is pleasant enough. Very nice manners and everything, but he does rather loom, doesn't he? I'm sure he means well. I'm sure he does. But he somehow doesn't quite fit in around here. And of course, there have been complaints. Complaints? Oh, yes. Yes, there have. What sort of complaints? From the little ones, mostly. He trips over them. He sits on them. He breaks their toys. They like him well enough, of course. But they're afraid to play with him. Oh, dear. Perhaps you might consider sending him away. I'm sure you must have lots of relations who could offer him a suitable home. same as you isn't being here a common thread aren't we family don't we share a dream or two after all the cruel words are said it takes a heart What eyes don't always see If I'm different The difference is I'm me Isn't beauty What we see beyond the skin there's a pearl in the plainest shell. Real beauty is the beauty from within, while the body's just a place to dwell. It takes a heart to find what eyes don't always see. If I'm different, the difference is I'm me. If I'm different, the difference is I'm me. The difference is I'm me. Are you all right? Yes! Go away! Can I help you at all? No! Go away! Would you like an apple? Oh, well... All right. Thanks. 
I'm Augustus. What? Well, I'm usually called ugly. What's your name? Scruffy. Where are you going? Dunno. Would you like to join up and travel together? No! So I say to them, well, why can't I join the theater? Why? And they say it's not respectable. Not a respectable occupation for a rat. No farm rat has ever been in the theater, they say. And you are not about to start now. So you ran away to join the theater? Yeah! Trouble is, everything's sort of further away than you think, and I don't really know where the theater is. Don't worry. We're bound to find it eventually. Perhaps it travels around and we might run into it. Yeah, I guess. Morning, Scruffy. Ah, morning, Ugly. Oh, I'm starving. Where are we going to find some breakfast? Well, I don't know. Perhaps there might be a handy pond or... A farmyard! Yeah, that's what we need. There's always lots of food in farmyards. That one'll do! Are you sure about this? I mean, supposing they see us. Of course they won't see us. Come on! do comedy parts or, or serious parts or parts where you have to shout a lot I'm a good shouter oh and crying parts oh I'm a great at crying too I wish I had a big exciting dream like you've got all I want is to live somewhere where people are nice to you and to find a better place to sleep than we found last night well you can have half your dream there's a comfy haystack look Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so I kept telling them, if you want to be an actress, you gotta start. 
start young. You gotta get lots of experience and practice to make your voice strong. Oh, and also your legs. You have to have strong legs for acting. Have you? Oh, yes, very important. But they wouldn't listen. My dad says to me, Now, see here, young lady, you are not gonna... <gasps> Look out! Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Ugly, are you all right? I think so. Thanks. We'd better stay off the roads. It's not safe. Good idea. Let's walk through the woods. <laughs> you're walking kind of slowly, Ugly. Are you sure you're all right? Well, I do feel a bit sort of shaky. Well, you've had a big shock, haven't you? Yes, I suppose I have. Well, something like that, it's bound to make you shaky. Yes, I suppose it is. If it would help cheer you up, I could recite you a poem or sing a song, if you like. That's very kind of you, Scruffy, but I... Strike up a simple song whenever trouble comes along. You can write what's wrong with a simple song. One merry melody can turn into a symphony. Keep your spirit strong with a simple song. A simple song won't let you down when there's no sign of help around. Serve up a cheerful tune and you'll be feeling better soon. You can write what's wrong with a simple song. We learned that at school. It's very nice. I know lots and lots of songs. <gasps> Look! Water! I bet you'll feel better now being near water. At least I can get some decent weeds to eat. Do you mind if we rest here for a bit? I really feel a bit funny. Okay, you settle down in the reeds and I'll go and find something to eat. I don't really like to eat water weeds that much. Right. Won't be long. You great, ugly, clumsy brute. people are danger we to us. We can steal a mummy of you. Simone, leave it. It's only a duck. It probably doesn't even have a name. I do. I do have a name. I'm called Augustus. Oh, dear. <gasps> bullets. Used bullets. <gasps> Poor Ugly. <gasps> he must be wounded. I think he's not dead. Just wounded. And just a little wound, probably. Just a small wound. Probably. Of course, we shall be expecting you to be keeping a very low profile, not pushing yourself forward in any way. Oh, I wouldn't dream Because of... Simone and myself occupy a somewhat privileged position here, due to our several and various talents. And... She lets us sleep indoors, doesn't she, Tarquin? Indeed she does, and... By the fire. 
she is extremely kind, but... In this very room, in fact. Simone, I... Well, I'm very sorry, Tarquin, but he needs to understand that he can't expect this sort of treatment indefinitely. Although I should think she'll be shoving him out in the back shed as soon as he's got a bit of life back in him. <laughs> very likely. The situation, young duck, is this. Let's take the cat. Oh, yes, do let's. He purrs a purr that's never flat, and it's a perfectly persuasive purr at that. Why, thank you. He seldom tires. If it's affection he requires, he will purr until his fur receives a pat. That is delightful. He's got a high IQ, an intellectual new. It's plain to see his brain must be a marvel matched by few. How true! A high IQ, a priceless point of view. It's wise to listen to a high IQ. Thank you, Simone. Oh, it was nothing, really. <laughs> Let's take the hen. Oh, well, if you must. She has the stamina of ten. She lays for days and then she does it all again. And again? She won't complain. No, never. She'll lay enough for quiche Lorraine. Even lay an even dozen now and then. Oh, phew! <laughs> She's got a high IQ, a system tried and true. When breakfast rolls around, she knows exactly what to do. Exactly. A high IQ, a priceless point of view. It's wise to listen to a high IQ. We've, We've got, got a high IQ, IQ a gift you never knew. knew. Without the brains, not much remains. There's little you can do. A high IQ, a priceless point of view. It's wise to listen to somebody who can guide you through. Somebody with a high IQ. Well, really, look at that, Tarquin. How rude. <sighs> the lower orders, my dear Simone, the lower orders. Well, I dare say they all taste the same with a bit of orange sauce. <laughs> Do you reckon he knows she's only keeping him to fatten him up for the pot? Not a clue, I shouldn't think. Far too stupid. She's wasting her time trying to get that duck revived. He's obviously got a weak constitution. It's written all over him. I wonder if she'll do him with orange sauce, or with olives and garlic, or perhaps even with white wine and figs. That way there's more leftovers for me. She always makes too much of that. Oh, Tarquin, how disgusting. I don't know how you can eat it. Duck, my dear Simone, is quite, quite delicious. As indeed is a roast chicken. <gasps> <laughs> Only teasing. They're gonna cook him! This is fantastic. 
fantastic. Ugly, you've got to get away from here. How did you know where I was? Shh, don't talk so loud. We gotta get out. I thought I'd never see you again. This is amazing. I... Ugly, we've got to leave. She's gonna eat you. What? She's gonna eat you. She's gonna have you for dinner with oranges. Don't be so silly. She's been really nice to me. She's... She's fed me, and, and... Of course she fed you. She's fattening you up. Look, are you sure about this? I mean, I just heard her and that stuck-up cat talking about it. It's the oranges or, or olives or something, and they... Right. All right. I believe you, but it's very upsetting. She seems so nice. Yeah, well, there you go. Come on, throw the window. Wow! <gasps> Run! Where? Anywhere! This noise! What have you been doing, you naughty Tiddly Widdly? Tiddly Widdly? And where's the duck? You've let him escape, haven't you? Now what am I going to give the family on Sunday? Oh, you really are too bad. You're a bad, wicked Tiddly Widdly, and you deserve to sleep in the shed. Now! <laughs> Tiddly Widdly. <laughs> what kind of name is that for a cat? <laughs> Tarquin. My name is Tarquin. T A R Q U I N. Tarquin. Tarquin. Wow. Thanks very much for rescuing me, Scruffy. That's all right. I mean, I had no idea. If it wasn't for you, I. I said it's all right. Don't mention it. Yes, but. Look, we gotta stick together in the future. No more getting separated. Yes. That way, we'll be safer, and you'll be able to hear my audition pieces. What? I've got to have audition pieces, don't I? In case we meet at theater. And I've got to practice them. It's always better to practice with an audience, too, isn't it? Is it? Of course it is. It's called audience reaction. Somebody to clap at the end. Oh, I see. You can tell me what are the good parts and what are the not-so-good parts so I can change them. Could I? Oh, thanks. My pleasure. Right. <clears throat> Time to exercise our vocal what's-its. Strike up a simple song whenever trouble comes along. You can write what's wrong with a simple song. One merry melody can turn into a symphony. Keep your spirit strong with a simple song. A simple song won't let you down when there's no sign of help around. Serve up a cheerful tune and you'll be feeling better soon. You can write what's wrong with a simple song. It was the schooner Hesperus that sailed the wintry sea. The skipper had taken his little father. The father answered never a word. A frozen corpse was he.
into a double act. What? You and me, a double act. Well, with you getting so big suddenly, I could do acrobatics on your back or something. Definitely not. Why not? Well, because not. Ah, oh, come on. It'd be good. We could look out. Out of the way. Move aside. Get out of the way. Move Pretty, though, aren't they? Sort of elegant. Elegant? Elegant? Well, I call that just rude. If I was just a little bigger, I'd go and bash them up. Come on! I'm tired. I think we should look for somewhere to stop for the night. What we need is a tent. That would be really useful. What we need is a haystack. They're the best things to sleep on, only they don't seem to be around much in the woods. Hmm. Evening, all. <gasps> A reasonable question, dear lady, a reasonable question. Wholesaler, retailer, collector of a unconsidered trifles? Manufacturer of high-quality pots, pans, and ironmongery, handcrafted by skilled workpersons in my own humble establishment. A supplier of all things interesting and unusual to the gentry, and this evening, perhaps provider of modest but comfortable accommodation at reasonable prices to your good selves. What is he talking about? I think he's offering us a room. Thank you, sir. But I'm afraid we haven't got any money. None at all. Oh, no matter, no matter. You have uh, honest faces. <laughs> you shall be my guests. Oh, well... Thank um... you very much. So you're away to join the theater, are you? <laughs> ah, the bright lights, the applause, the audience with their shining eyes fixed upon the stage, their back pockets stuffed with money, their handbags left so carelessly under their seats. <laughs> I remember it well. You were in the theater? Really? There is very little in the rich tapestry of this life, my dear Scruffy, that has not been experienced, however indirectly or fleetingly, by yours truly. <laughs> now, if we've all finished our supper, I've had a busy day, so if you two would like to make yourselves comfortable over there, I wish you good night. Good night, and thanks for the meal. Yeah, thanks. See you tomorrow. I'm really, really full. Me too. Good night. Good night. Podge. 
Are you prisoner too? We are. We're prisoners. Me and the triplets, we've been here for ages. And my mom and dad are going to be really annoyed because I'm supposed to be looking after them. And I didn't. Not very well, anyway. Why has he locked us up like this? I don't know, really. He says he's gonna take us to somewhere called Factory or something, but I don't know where that is. Do you? Never heard of it. But you have tried getting out of here, haven't you? There isn't a way out. No windows, no doors. Just that trap door in the ceiling. Oh, I want to go home. Yes, I know. We'll go home later. I want to go now. Well, you can't. I want to, I want to. I want my mommy. <laughs> I know. Why don't I teach you a song? A whole crowd of them there was. Axes and jugglers and acrobats. Very colorful, very colorful. Green bells and tooting horns. And, huh, wonder you didn't wake up. And she's gone with them? I couldn't stop her. She was out of this door and onto that wagon before you could say footlights. But why didn't she wake me? I don't understand. How could she go without me? Selfish. They're all like that, you know, selfish. Thinking only of getting themselves standing in a spotlight. <laughs> Sad, really. How about a note? Did she leave a note? No time. No time. It was off and away with not a thought for those left behind. Typical. Yes. Well, I'd better be going then. Thanks for last night. Uh, my pleasure, dear fellow. My pleasure. Goodbye. Uh, a good day to you. Right. Business. Demand to be let out. Do you now? Yes, we do. These three should be at home with their mother. They're only babies. They certainly are. Nice and young and willing to work. Willing to work? Now look here. <gasps> I think he's a very horrible person. So do I. Yes, we all think he's a very horrible person. And we have to try and escape from him. I don't understand why Ugly hasn't come to rescue us. He must have noticed I wasn't there. Perhaps he's been locked up too, or worse. Why do you... No, no, it couldn't be. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. He's bound to have some really clever plan or something. Bound to. Can we sing that song again? That's a good idea. It'll cheer us up while we wait for Scruffy's friend to rescue us. Strike up a simple song whenever trouble comes along. You can write what's wrong with a simple song. One merry melody can turn into a symphony. Keep your spirit strong with a simple song. Hello, flower. Are you all alone? I'm all alone. I had a friend, but she went and left me. And I don't know where to go now she's gone. We were always going to stay together. Look out for one another. But then the actors came along and she went away with them. <laughs> Scruffy! <gasps> She didn't leave me at all. It was a lie.
Quick, sing! We must make some noise or he'll notice we're escaping! Get us out! Quick! You can write hey, us wrong with a shut the noise! Song. I said, stop that racket! Now look here, I'd just like to say- Shut up! Whoa! <gasps> All right, get those little legs working! What does he mean? Where are we? This is the factory. What's the factory? It's where we make pots and pans for him to sell to rich people. And we're all locked in, and our families don't know where we are. And I'm so hungry! <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll be escaping soon. No, we won't! Nobody's ever escaped. He's going to keep us here for always to work his horrible machines for him. It'll be all right. Really? My friend will there's be... There's only any food, and there's no beds! Silence! Run! Mustn't stop. My business will be ruined. Ruined. singing and I knew it was you. Well, you certainly took your time. Thanks very much for rescuing us. Oh, it was nothing. This is Podge, and these are the triplets, and this is Ugly. Hello. Hello. Oh. Now, I suppose we better get you home. Oh, don't worry. We'll be all right. It's not very far, and we'll run all the way. Now, say goodbye, and thank you for rescuing me. Goodbye, thank you for rescuing me. That's all right. Goodbye. Goodbye, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Right, now what? Ooh, it's cold. Well, if it's gonna be winter, I say we should start seriously thinking about that tent. To the 
winds of winter We're not some summer breeze When we're together we control the weather And we aim to freeze We aim to freeze The squall of the wild The squall of the wild Yeah! Bow to the winds of winter Now meet our old friend Frost We'll even throw in everything we blow in No extra cost We'll give you a real buggy And how? And how? <laughs> Are you cold? How sad Let us wrap you in a blanket made of snow Did you sneeze? Too bad. Let us introduce ourselves before we go. Cause you don't really know us till you shiver through a blizzard. You don't really know us till your faces turn blue. We can wail, we can hail, we can form a mighty gale. And we only have ice for you. By the way, is that a quack in the ice? Yes, it's down in the water. Down? Oh, down in the water. <laughs> Bow to the winds of winter. No more the song of spring. You're going to find us leaving hope behind us. And our voices sting. Sting? Oh, I get it, sting. <laughs> Stinging in the rain. <laughs> Scruffy! Scruffy! Help! I'm frozen in! Find something and have a big chip away at the ice. Yum, yum. day today. How many you reckon will come then, Chief? Who cares? We've got plenty of drink and plenty of food. Yeah, right! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me, sir. What? What exactly is, um, happening, sir? For you, sunshine, not a lot. For us wolves, on the other hand, party time! <laughs> <laughs> 
Lots of friends coming over. A little song, a little howl, game of cards, that type of thing. And then a great, big, huge, enormous dinner. And that's where you all come in. I'm especially looking forward to you, lad. Long time since I tasted a nice, fat goose. <laughs> goose? I'm not a goose. Am I? John, there we are. Everybody free. Thanks. Thanks. Now what should we do? Well, don't ask me. I've done my part. Just run away or something. Oh, oh, we can't do that. We can't go out there. They're all, uh, they're all, uh, all uh, maniacal high sight or uh, no uh, homicidal maniacs. Uh, 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 homicidal maniacs. Neither can I. You don't have to dance. Look, just follow me. Sort of, didn't I? We could put in the act. You flying. I told you, I'm not doing any act. I'm not going on the stage. All I want is somewhere warm and safe to spend the rest of the winter. Yeah, would be nice. Somewhere where nobody wants me to go away and nobody wants to eat me. I have none. You are in my power, and I will keep you so forever. <laughs> Do not harm me. I implore you. You have scorned and rejected me. Swear to renounce your lover and marry me, 
Oh, by heaven, you'll never quit this spot alive. No, no, I cannot. I love him. Then you must die. No, no. Please, please, Sir Jasper. Think of my poor widowed mother. How will she live without me to support her? Think of my six little brothers and sisters. They will surely starve without my help. Oh, please, Sir Jasper. Spare me. Spare me. <gasps> He's going to kill her. Quick. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you want me to say the line as I run in, or... Uh... You're actors, aren't you? Indeed we are. And what You're not you... murdering her at all, are you? Well, of course not. We're rehearsing. We... <laughs> oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, what shall we do? <laughs> We're poor, penniless refugees who've been attacked and tortured and chased by wolves. And we've got nowhere to go and most probably Die of... of something. Starvation! Yes! Most probably die of starvation! What with not having a roof over our heads? Or anything to eat? Or anything? <laughs> oh, dear! <laughs> Poor things! How you've suffered! Oh, we have! We have! And seeing what you thought was a murder must have been the last straw! It was! It was. <laughs> oh, dear. Daddy, we must help them. Well, what do you think we should do? She seems frightfully upset. Do I? Do I seem upset? Because that was acting, all of it. <laughs> I wasn't upset at all, really. <laughs> I was acting. <laughs> so, can I join your theatre, please? Oh, oh, well done. Oh. Well done. Oh. Yes. Oh. Bravo. That was Wonderful, my dear. Very convincing, very convincing. Of course you must join us. We're always on the lookout for talent, you know. <gasps> really? Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Come on, let's introduce you to the others. How's your Shakespeare? I'm just so fed up with doing Juliet I could scream. And you'd be more than welcome to... Where's my friend? Friend? Oh, him. He doesn't act, does he? Well, he... He's awfully ungainly. And, well, he's not absolutely the most handsome bird in the world, is he? Hardly leading man material. No, he doesn't act. But he's big and strong and he can move scenery and he's very helpful and, 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 and useful. Then I'm sure we can find a job for him. Come along, young man, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, that's all right. Well, it's all quite easy, really. It's all quite easy. Lovely to meet you. But I mean, it's been what time of the season. Welcome, scruffy and ugly, to our modest lodgings. This is Gerard, our stage manager, who will show you where you may sleep. How do? Hello. Is that the stage? Indeed it is, my dear. Indeed it is. Upon those humble boards, magic shall be made. Shadows brought forth from the darkness and made to sing, dance, laugh, weep, live and die. Gosh. We shall be rehearsing until spring. Two comedies, a musical, three tragedies, and we shall open the season with a variety show to get the audience in a good mood, as it were, before we hit them with the more intellectual stuff. Now, off you go. We have a great deal of work to do.
so excited about tonight. All these weeks of rehearsing and everything. And now, tonight, there'll be a real live audience sitting there, watching. Yeah, well, they won't be able to see anything if you don't get those lamps shifted into position. Sorry, Gerard. Only I'm so nervous for Scruffy. It's going to be her debut, you know. That means... Yeah, yeah, I know what it means. Never you mind about young Scruffy. You look to your own job. Them lanterns have got to be kept a proper eye on. They burn very hot, and we don't want no nasty accidents, now do we? Oh, no. Right. I'll watch them very carefully. I promise. Now remember, these are your responsibility. Yes, I'll watch them really carefully. See that you do. And now, for your delight and delectation, the beautiful, the talented Miss Cluffy Lamar! <laughs> She's on. She's on. Oh, good luck. My mother was the squeaker of the house. You could be sure that she would always squeak her mind. Remember, you're a rat and not a mouse. Squeak up, she'd tell me. Squeak and ye shall find. So when I said, an actor's life for me, all the other rats laughed. Ha! This I've got to see. Your voice is too conspicuous, an actor, that's ridiculous. They told me that my squeak was far too weak. They'll never hear a voice so thin, you'll never be a thespian. You'll end up some poor, pathetic freak. They told me I should face the fact, if you can't squeak, then you can act. But I believe I've yet to reach my peak. So here I am, I'm on my own, at least my voice is mine alone. To me, it's just a part of my misqueak. Chicks stand on their luck just trying to make an honest cluck. And now who's who made everybody tense? No buzzword from a honeybee, a pair of skunks from overseas who always had to throw in their two cents. A turkey who was really bad, gobbledygook was all he had. A cock who couldn't cock could do too well. Hyenas who could only cry, a snake who kissed his hiss goodbye. A rattletail without a tail to tell. So there you have it. Why should I feel odd? Oh. I'll squeak loud and proud my whole life through. I'll always squeak when squoken to. I'll do just what I want to do and rendezvous with guys like you. Soon the world will know me from my texture and my tone. The greatest public squeaker
These are your responsibility. Your responsibility. Your responsibility. You ought to play with people your own size. You are. Hardly leading man material. Where can I see so? Doesn't quite fit in around here. Big clumsy people are a danger to others. <laughs> They're dead. They're all dead, and it's my fault. I've killed them. I'm stupid and clumsy, and everything everybody says about me is true. She sang so beautifully, so beautifully. Augustus. Well, that's nice. I'm gorgeous. And I'm graceful. And I'm precious. And this is Crispin and Lancelot. Hello. Oh, hello. How do you do? And what's a handsome young swan like you doing all alone, Eo? Swan? Do come and join us if you'd care to. We thought we might drift down the river and spend the afternoon by the weir. Am I really a swan? Well, of course you are. Just like us. What a funny thing to say. I'm a swan. Yes, I just told you. You're a swan. say you'll come. You'd make such a decorative addition to our group. And you'll have lots and lots of fun. It's all terribly social around here. And you'll meet loads and loads of people. There are tea parties and cocktail parties and charity thingies. Or heaps of charity thingies. Well, it's very kind of you, only... It's just... I was with a traveling theater, and there was a terrible fire, and it was all my fault. And I think they might be all dead, but I just ran away, and now I really think that I ought to go back and look to see if there's anyone left who might need my help. A traveling theater? What sort of theater? Rats. Rats! Rats! Yes. They were really kind to me, and I ran away and left them. I was so frightened. My dear Augustus, you really mustn't concern yourself about a few rats. But they might need my help. Uh, of course they won't. The lower classes are frightfully resilient and enduring and all that sort of thing. Anyway, they don't feel things like we do, do they? They're not so sensitive. They can stand things better. What do you mean? Well, things like, like pain and loss and hardship. General suffering, you know. I never heard such nonsense in all my life. Now, look here. Don't you speak to Graceful like that. Well, how dare she say things like that about my friends? They were kind to me, and they took me in and gave me a job, and I ran away and left them. Well, I'm going back, and I'm going to search in the ruins, and you can... can... float off. Well, my dear, did you ever? He wasn't really all that good looking anyway. <coughs> Where's Ugly? You just lie still. You'll be all right soon. I'm all right now. Where's Ugly? He appears to be missing. Perished in the flames, I fear. Well, hasn't anyone looked for him? I think he might have run away. No one's seen him since the fire began. Of course he didn't run away. Ugly would never run away. We must go back and look for him. Why? 
What did I long for that I was so wrong for? Was I lost from the start? Hoping to find love, did I leave behind love? Isn't home where your heart is? I thought I'd made it, my journey was through. Sometimes the glitter outshines the gold And we lose that special one who kept us from the cold For every moonbeam the night holds a new dream there's one waiting for you in your reflection you'll find your direction Hello. Oh, it's you. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. I just got some ashes in my eye. Is everyone all right? Everyone's fine. Are you sure? I told you. They're fine. Everybody is completely fine. Where have you been? I ran away. I felt so guilty about starting the fire because I was watching you singing instead of paying attention to the lamp. And Don't I... be silly. It was me who started the fire. Gerard told me. I threw my hat and you couldn't see it and it caught fire and it was all my fault. Was it? Was it really? <laughs> Stop looking so guilty. You take the blame for the weather if you could. <laughs> Silly old duck. Actually, I'm a swan. A swan! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Strike up a simple song Whenever trouble comes along You can write what's wrong with a simple song One merry melody can turn into a symphony Keep your spirit strong with a simple song A simple song won't let you down When there's no sign of help around Serve up a cheerful tune And you'll be feeling better soon You can write what's wrong with a simple song Song. One merry melody can turn into a symphony Keep your spirit strong with a simple song A simple song won't let you down When there's no sign of help around